Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Good morning, everyone. Today, our lecture will be different. Today, I will start with another series. This series related with how we can learn Turkish language to any student, native speaker, or can speak English very well. I decided to help them to learn this language together. At first, I will depend on uh, Yunus Emra, dependent on Yunus Emra. Uh, here, I will start from Abir in Turkish language, that's mean A1, level A1, that's mean Sevye Abir. And like we know, in Abir or in another Sevye and another levels, uh, we have the same system. We have two kinds of book. Ders Kitabe is the number one, we will depend on it. And any student will. Uh, when he decided to go to the institute to learn this language, his teacher would depend on it at the, at the, at the class. And another one is the Chalashma Kitabe. That's mean the exercise book. I will depend on all of them and I will solve all the questions at all of them. At first, we must know uh, any student came to here to watch this video to, to can learn this language, must has a simple knowledge about this language. At first, any student, any native speaker or any student can speak English very well, that will be easier to him from the other student because between Turkish and English, some similarity. Now let's go directly to the notes. The Turkish language, something has, has similarity with math system because I will put a lot of plus between a few words to can accomplish, to can create uh, uh, another words. This will be, this plus will be until C1, C2. That's mean uh, will will will be with us until uh, advanced courses, advanced levels. It's very important because that we must depend on the grammar. Maybe when you decided to learn another language, you can ignore the grammar and take statements, take uh, read some lines and try to repeat it without understanding what that mean or what this mean. But here the situation is different. The grammar of this language will be something like the heart. That's my advice. When I, when I learned this language, at first I depended on the grammar and after that could to reach the other levels. The Turkish language, like I say, has some similarity with math, with math system. We will use many additions because we will focus on the town. Some similarity between Turkish language and French language because both of them depend on the town. We will note that at the next slides and on the vowels letters at any language vowels letters is very important, but here the situation is different. We have eight vowel letters and you can divide it into two kinds, heavy and light, kalın and ince in Turkish. And I will explain all of that at the next lectures and next uh, slides. To can pass the language exam, you must take 1600% or more. It's very important. Now let's go directly to the Turkish letters here. And let me open this important record. Just a minute, so I will do that. So it will be important to us.
This is the first letter. Hot horse. Anne, mom, mother. Car. Balak, that's mean fish. Ticket. Glass. Wallet. Pocket. Class. Floor. Bag. Tea. The five. Domatus, that's mean tomato. Lesson. Wall. A. Apple. Bread. Hand. Fair. Elephant. Mouse. Oven. Gay. Glasses. Sun. Shirt. It's different. Hospital, letter, towel, ship, light, river, or river, or ermak, or say neher, injir, fig, internet, the same word, cow. J. Razor blood. Dog. Copy that swing dog. Pencil. Kitab. Book. Limon. Limon. Lemon. Restaurant. The same. Me. Table, kitchen, meyve, fruit, nor, point, horseshoe, bus, room, school, uh, Duck, homework, example, or we can say Umar, the great example. Money, window, rise, radio, the same, but some different end letters. Color, color, lipstick. Our class water pine bottle sugar ball phone comp ooh. Airplane, ozone long, oiku sleep, ö, özüm, grape, ötü, iron, country, ülke, valleys, suitcase, sherry, vazo, vazo, ye, Egg, star, yol, path, or can say way, zurafa, garif, olive, zil, bell. 
I decided to use this video because he is the native speaker belong to this language. Sure, he will be better than me because that I selected the better. Now let's come back to our notes. We will, this, this very important note, we will focus on the last letters in any word, okay? Because why? Because we will do something like research on the vowel letters, because when we know which kind we're dealing, um, I mean, with the vowel letters, we will know which letters will be the appropriate to use the same tau, okay? We will focus on the end of the letters to know we're dealing with heavy vowels or late vowels, because like I said before, we have two kinds of let vowel letters, like saige, respect, ade, name, kedi, cat, elma, apple, para, money, ulke, masa, table, ulke, country, arabakar, boga. That's mean the the male of uh, cow. Here we noted that the vowel letters are the last of all of all of these words. But at the at other words, we don't have vowel letter at the last of uh, the word because that we will take another step and do researching about the vowel letter again, like this few words. When we don't have any vowel letters at the end, at the letters, we will depend on the letters before it. For limon, o, o, ujak, balak, juzdan, fil, ders. O, a, e, a, e, e. Now let's go deeply. This is another note that Turkish language has some similarity, like I said before. And let me complete from here. We will focus on the end of the letters. And here, uh, when we don't dealing with uh, vowel letters at the end, we will take uh, another setup before, like that. What is the vowel letter and uh, what is the heavy vowel letter and light heavy let, uh, vowel letter? Kalin, that's mean heavy, a, e, o, u. And thin, or we can say light vowel letter will be a, e, u, u. Okay? Like guzel, beautiful, uzgun. And here, like your gun, saigun. We have five pronouns. It's very important. Ben, I, or me. But Ben, that's mean I. Me, that's will take the difference between them at the next lectures. Here, Ben, that's mean I, saying you, O. Here, we don't have any difference between the male and female. Because that we will say all, oh, general all. Oh. He or she, without any difference. Because that we will decide to translate any speech. We will say some different, some, some difficulties here. Because you must know from the, the cycle, from the statements, from the, these few words, you, the, the speaker talk about girl or man or what? Because he always, will, he will use O. Oh. This uh, easier to us from uh, side and uh, difficult from another side. Bees, we, that's just my opinion. Bees, we, sees you, on love them. Here we have another important note. Uh, in this section, some difference with English language, because when I talk with my friend, close friend, or 
friend, normal friend, I will say you. And when I go to talk with manager, boss, doctor in the university or something like that, I will say you. Okay, but here the situation is different. If you use the same way, sure you will face some problems because here no way you can't say to your doctor, you or your manager, you. That's, you will face problem, believe me. Uh, here we use another way. This way is to show your respect to your manager, your doctor, anything or the another person uh, bigger than you or uh, by using the, the academic language, you will use cis, that's mean you, but this uh, by using polar uh, form. Uh, because here the situation is different, you in English, to you and you to both of them. But here the situation says that's mean plural. That's mean many guys here, many humans here, but we use that to show our respect and by using formal language. At this lecture, we will focus on just I, uh, you and you, another you, that's mean band, sand, sids. Okay. My way is I uh, write it the Eunice Emra again, a part, a part. And after that, I do something like similarization bit, by using my hand to select what is the appropriate grammar. We must learn it. And after that, going to start to solve the other examples, exercise in the A section. We'll focus on Benson and says now, let's try about how I can say, after we know it, uh, all the Turkish letters, how I can say, my name is Ali. We'll use this trick, Ben and Ade. Ben, that's mean I, Ade, that's mean name. But here the situation is different from English language. In Turkish, we don't use the uh, is, are, where. Uh, verb to be, we don't we don't use verb to be here at the Turkish language, and we use always always additions to do something like appropriate relation between these few words. Here, when I won't say my name is Ali, I will use this to basic forms, but will be benim adım. Mine is Ali. My name is Ali. We can't uh, translate these statements by use uh, letters trans transition, tran uh, sorry, <laughs> translations, uh, because that will be different, will be difficult, uh, not just difficult, honestly, will be wrong because here the situation is different because we must know, for example, in Turkish language, we put the, uh, the verb at the last of our statement, something like that, because that we will say some difference and uh, by using Google Translator, for example, or another application. Let's go to another one, sen and ade. Sen, you, ade, name. But like I said before, all of these are basic form. Will be senin adın. Your name. Here, like we say, I put some additions. Here, I put it, I am because I has relation with E to make tone will be benim. M, I must put M and this M is constant. But here the I is different when I decided to put this addition. I is different, we will change. But if I use another word, 
but M is constant. I has a relation with E because that I will do the right form by following the tone. Benim, Adam. Here the situation is different. Here I didn't put another uh, vowel letters. Why? Because here I have vowel letter at last this word. Because that, that's not necessary. Benim adım. Senin adın. And here is constant I. In Turkish language, the right pronunciation to this word, E. E here has relation with E. By that, I will follow the right tone. Senin adın. Siz ade, how I can ask about <clears throat> my doctor name or plural of guys uh, about them names. I will say here, the form will be some different here because siz will be sizinis. Or we can say sizin. And in the street, Say season, but academic language like that, like that. So in any language, some different between uh, street language and academic language. Ziniz adınız, your name or your names to show your respect, or if you talk with a few of guys, ziniz adınız. N and Z, it's constant. Here, I in these two both sides, in these two sides, we can change it by following the tone of the another word. On the same situation here, we have vowel letter because that we ignore the another vowel letter and put us just nis, adenus. Now to question, to ne or nasal by using what and how. Let's learn, let's learn this, how we can use these two tools. The question tools, uh, we have important notes. Like I said before, we put the verb at the last of the statement of the line. Here we will put what or how at the last of the line. The Turkish people say, use this uh, question tools like that, because that we must follow the native speaker. We must put the question tool at the end. To ask about the name, we use ne. What, what is your name? Ne sen adın. We know, we learned how we can use your name, senin adın. And after that, we can put the question too. Senin adın ne? What's your name? Sizin adınız ne? What's your names? Or what's your name? If you want to show your respect. Now let's learn how we can, how. Nasıl sen? Here to ask about how are you? If you good, if you upset, if you happy. Nasıl sen? We will put all of these two words together, but by do some change like nasıl here at the last letter here. E. E, because that I will change this E to E to be nasıl sen, the same town. Nasıl sen, how are you? Nasıl and says, I will change this E to E uh, to be nasıl sınız, like here. Nasıl sınız, how are you? But to your doctor, to your boss. E, that's mean good, how I can say I'm good. Ben will be the same without any change. E, I will put, we can say Delta M. What well, does mean Delta? That's mean del Delta, that's mean everyone, every time will facing some change. Like E, 
a, u, u, something like that, to come from the tone, the tone will be, I will put, because here, e, what does mean? That's mean I will put e, m, e, me. Let's use it by the Turkish pronunciation, e, m. But because I have two vowel letter, I can, I can uh, say right pronunciation if I have two uh, vowel letters between them. I must put something, some another letters to protect the town. Because that we put ye here to be em, ben em. Sen, how I can say you good in Turkish. I will use this basic form, sen e. Sen will be the same, you. E sin here didn't put ye because I don't have two vowel letters be between them. Sis e sis will be the same. E sin is e sin is sis e sin is you okay or fine. We can't write and say like that. The right form is will be like that, E-M, with Y. We must know another thing to can go to uh, uh, a section. Let us or let me, let me introduce how we can use these two forms. How we can say, let's listen by use we pronounce. Let me, uh, let's listen. This, because if I alone, and I won't do that alone, I will say, let me listen. But here we have many persons. How we can say, let's listen. This base verbs or forms to, for example, listen, that's mean dinlemek, dinlemek. Here, always with the base form, with the base form, we will put make or mark. That's related with the vowel letters. Uh, if heavy, we will put uh, make. If uh, inje, if light, we will put another form, like here, dinlemek, it's uh, in Jaharf, that's mean light letter, because that I put it make. If I'm facing uh, another heavy letters, heavy letter, I will put mark. We have two constant forms when we're dealing with the base verbs. Here, listen, that's mean dinlemek will be din layelim. I will put this elim and I have two verbs, two, uh, sorry, I have two uh, vowel letters because that I put it ye here to be din layelim. When I won't say, let me listen, will be din layelim without L, din layelim. Just uh, this will be one first, second will be basic form, but we will change just these two letters, A and A and E, by following the tone of the word, okay? Here will be den layelim, and here din layelim. To repeat, how I can say, let me repeat, Let's repeat, tikrar lamak, because here we have heavy letter, heavy vowel letter. Tikrar lamak will be tikrar layalim, tikrar layalim. Let's repeat. And let me repeat will be tikrar, tikrar layayim, tikrar layayim. 
tamamlamak, let's, let's say, let's complete, will be tamamlayalım. And let me complete tamamlayayım without L. Okumak, read. Let me say, let's read. Okuyayalım. Okuyayalım. That's mean, let's read. Okuyayalım. When I say let me read, okuyayım without L. I selected all of these verbs because the author use it at section A. We always use mark, make with base forms, verbs. Base form verbs. Sıralamak arrangement will be sıralayalım, let's arrangement, and let's say let me arrangement will be sıralayayım, without L. Konuşmak, konuşalım. Here we don't have vowel letter before the ads, before the additions. Konuşalım, konuşayım. Let me talk, let's talk. Tan, tanishter mark, introduce. When you won't introduce yourself or you won't introduce another guys. Tanishter, tanishter alam, let me introduce. No, uh, I'm sorry here, let's introduce to another guy. We something like company group and wanted decided to learn another guy, another group, I will say tanishtaralim. And when you want uh, to introduce myself to my doctor, to my boss, I will say tanishtarayim. Let me introduce. When we want to say thanks to anyone, how we can say thanks? We will use this base form, teşekkür etmek, this academic form. Because we can say teşekkürler, sağ olsun, sağ olsunuz. But this, the academic form, teşekkür etmek. When I want to say thanks, will be like that, teşekkür ederim. And we will discuss about YTBD and all of these ads at the next slides, at the next lectures, because it's uh, something like advanced level comparing with now uh, because that we will take this form like that thank you that's mean to say nice to meet you after i introduce myself or let's say let's introduce to this another group after that how we can say nice to meet you was the dependent on this base form memnun olmak but to use it to derivative this form and to can use another words, I can use it in the college uh, company, something like that, group, party, I will say memnun oldum. And we will discuss about this form at the next lectures. Here, plural additions, that's mean çoğal aki, plural additions, çoğal aki. Kalın, a, e, o, ü, will take la. When I want something like an English language, s, to change from singular to plural. Dog, dogs, uh, cat, cats, something like that. The same. Actually the same, but here we don't use one letter, we use three letters. Two of them are constant. The middle one is the, will change every time. A or E, A or E. Elma apple, elmalar, ışık light, ışıklar, balık, balıklar, at, atlar, masa, masala. I'm, I'm following the, Vowel letter. Here we have 
heavy vowel letters because that I put line. And at the same situation when I dealing with another uh, inja harf light, light uh, vowel letter, I will put ler. Masala, we can take, huh, let's, let's focus on uh, in any language, we have a regular situations. Here we have another words, but don't follow this basic form. Don't follow this rule. Why? Let's, let me say, because uh, these words, we can say are regular words or foreign words, because came from another language, like Arabic language, English, Rus Russian, uh, something like that, because the demographic effects, we will use ler with them. And at the same time, all of them, or most of them, all of them uh, has have uh, heavy vowel letters, but with this situation, we will put ler, sat, sat ler, hayal, hayat, hayal ler, ha, uh, siyahat, siyahat ler. Roll, this from English language, siyahat, hayal, saat, all of these from Arabic language, because all of these are foreign words. Roll, roller, alcohol, alcohol ler, alcohol ler. Alcohol in English, alcohol ler in Turkish, simple in, from, came from English, simple ler. Misal, misal ler, mejgul, mejgul ler. Petrol, petroller, kalp, kalpler, ideal, idealler. All of these words from Arabic language, ideal came from English, ideal, idealler. Now, let's go to the Tanishma, introduce. This is the first page in the Yunus Emra book, the Ders Kitabe. Let's say din layelim, like we learned before. That's mean let's listen. Tikrar layelim, let's repeat. Maraba, maraba. Here, H is silent. He is silent. Silent in Turkish, that means sessiz. Maraba, maraba. Benim adim Derya. Benim adim Murat. Memnun oldum. Ben de memnun oldum. Here we can write all of these again, but with by using and then their names: Nur, Maraba, Ali, Maraba, Beni Madim Nur, Beni Madim Ali, Memnun Oldum. Nice to meet you. Here, Memnun. In this situation, we can say nice to meet you. In another situation, we can say that's fine. But here, we use it like nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Ben de Memnon Oldom. Me, nice to meet you too. Din layalim, let's listen. Okoyalim, let's read. Maraba, maraba, beni madim deniz. Sezin adiniz ne? Beni madim Umer. U, U, Umer. Memnon Oldom, Ben de Memnon Oldom. Nasılsınız? Teşekkür ederim, iyiyim. How are you? But here, like we noted here, she used uh, academic form, not just a uh, close friend. We can say, how are you? Nasıl sınız, instead of nasılsın. Teşekkür ederim, iyiyim. Siz nasılsınız? She didn't say, sen, you, how are you? She, she did, she used uh, the academic form to show his or her respect. Siz nasılsınız? Teşekkür ederim, ben de iyiyim. Here, okuyalım. Let's, uh, let's read. Adiniz ne? The form, the academic form. Adiniz ne? Instead of adın ne? 
Maraba benim adım Ahmet. Maraba Ahmet benim adım Murat. Memnun oldum. Ben de memnun oldum. Tamamlayalım. Let's complete and sıralayalım. Sıralayalım. Let's arrangement. Maraba benim adım Ayşe. Sizin adınız ne? The academic form. Benim adım Yasmin. Memnun oldum. Ben de memnun oldum. Nasılsınız? Teşekkür ederim. İyiyim. Siz nasılsınız? Teşekkür ederim. Ben de iyiyim. Now okuyalım. Sizi tanıştırayım. Let me introduce about you, all of you. Merhaba Yaran. Merhaba Murat. Nasılsın? Teşekkür ederim. İyiyim. Sen nasılsın? Teşekkür ederim. Ben de iyiyim. Sizin tanı... Sizi... Tanıştırayım. Let me introduce to yourself. But here Murat was talking about his friend. Let me introduce him to you. Sizi tanıştırayım. Bu Ahmet. Ben de yaran tanıştığımızı here uh, to meet. Not to introduce. Tanıştığımıza memnun oldum. Nice to meet you. Tanıştığımıza memnun oldum. Ben de memnun oldum. Nice to meet you too. Here teşekkür ederim. Miyim? Sen nasılsın? But here the situation is different. Because the Arthur wrote nasılsın instead of nasılsınız. That means here it's not a form, not academic speech. Because that I can use nasılsın. That's mean I'm talk with my close friend. Nasılsın? Teşekkür ederim. Ben de iyiyim. Seni arkadaşımla tanıştayım. Tanı, tanışayayım. Because here I say let me introduce. Not uh, let us introduce. We, I'm, I'm not talk about the group. I'm talk about myself. That's me, that mean tanıştırayım. Tanıştırayım. Bu Kemal. Memnun oldum. Ben de memnun oldum. Tanıştırayım. When you want, introduce. He or she to another friend, to another guy. Okuyalım. Karışıklı konuşalım. Karışıklı, that's mean with mix. There will be something like a group. Tanıştığımıza memnun oldum. Nice to meet you. Maraba maraba. Benim adım Merve. Sizin adınız ne? She asking her about his name. Benim adım Emine. Tanıştığımıza memnun oldum. Ben de memnun oldum. Görüşmek üzere. This is few new uh, new two words. That means see you later. Görüşmek, the base form to see, seeing. Görüşmek üzere, see you later. İyi günler, good evening. These two new forms. Görüşmek üzere, see you later, and good evening, iyi günler. Günaydın Eriko, günaydın Kemi, nasılsın? Here, not formal speech. Teşekkür ederim. İyiyim. Sen nasılsın? Ben de iyiyim. Seni Hana ile tanıştırayım. Tanıştırayım. Let me introduce. Memnun oldum Hana. Ben de memnun oldum. Here, like uh, when we was uh, listening to the dialogue about the Turkish letters, alphabet. We can, I can skip it. İncileyeyim. Here we talk about us. That's mean inceleyelim. Let's ex examine. Let's focus on of these few words. The new few words or tools here. Bu, şu, o. And burada, şurada, orada. Let's come back to this word. İnceleyelim. Let's examine. İnceleyelim. 
Vune, Vu, that means this. But here the situation is different in Turkish language. We don't say, what is this? We will say this, what is? Something like that. Bu, this. Ne, what? Bu ne, what is this? Bu şeftale. This is something like beach. Uh, belong to fruit group. Bu ne, bu şeftale. Şeftale nedir? Nerede? Nerede, that means where. The question tool, we can use it to ask about the, the space. Where is, the, where is this thing? Question tool, it's important to us. When you want about, uh, when you want to ask about something, we didn't find it. Şeftale nerede? Beach. Where is, where is the beach? Şeftale burada. Burada, that means is here. Şeftale burada. Some difference between bu, şu, and o. Bu, that means this thing, it's very near from me. Bu ne, that means this thing beside me and ask about him, about it, because I don't know what is this, but near from me. Shu ne, or when we use shu, bu does mean this in English, shu does mean that. Shu, we can use it to something like uh, far away from me, but not too long, not too much. Between bu, and O, oh, between this and that uh, too long, too, too far away things. Shu ne? What is this? What is that? Shu chanta. This is bad. To long distance, but not too long between these two distance. Chanta nerde? Chanta shurada. The big is over there, or is there. Too long, une, okedi. What is this? What is that? What is that? That is cat, okedi. Let's examine in je yelim, in je leyelim, in je leyelim. Let's examine by using another a question tool. This is Kim. Kim does mean who. Sure, when I use who, I will ask about he or she. Not to cat or table. Okay, bu kim? Bu bebek. Who he is? Bu bebek, this baby. Shu kim? Who she is? She is a doctor. Or that, a doctor. Shu does mean that. Bu does mean this. And o does mean that. But to longer than. O kim? O chauffeur. Driver. Injele yelim. Burasa neresi? Here, when you want to ask about the place. For example, I um, travel to another city and after that stop to take a look and I will ask, where am I? Where am I? That's mean, burasa neresi. That's mean where, but to where am I? Burasa neresi. The Arthur asking about this place. Burasa neresi? Here. Where is here? Or what is here? Here is a market. Shurasa neresi? The Arthur wondering about this house or school. Shurasa okul. That's school. But like I said before, Turkish language they didn't use any verb to be.
she uh, don't, don't use uh, is, was, uh, wa, uh, are, where, was, there, where is, orasa neresi, orasa park. That is a park. Orasa neresi, to longer distance. Orasa neresi, orasa park. That is a park. Cevabla yelim. Bu ne? Bu kim? Burası neresi? Let's solve all of this. Bu ne? Bu ayakkabı. The shoes. Şu ne? Şu bardak. That glass. O ne? O. We can say bal arası. That's mean B. Bal arası. Or, o, bucek. Bucek, that means something like bug. O, bal arası, ya da, that means or, bucek. Here, we use, we using kim, because here, teacher, worker, manager, bu öğretmen, this is teacher, şu, uh, çalışan, that's mean that worker. O müdür, müdür, that is a manager. Here, where is? Burası neresi? Where is here? Burası neresi? Burası eczane. This is the pharmacy. Şurası neresi? We can say, şurası bazar or market. Orasa neresi? Orasa ekmekçi. That is a bagri. Orasa neresi? Orasa BTT ofisi. Here we will talk about this ad, this additions at the next lectures. That is BTT office. Bilgisayar, computer. Feel elephant, television, TV, Jeff telephone, smartphone, photograph machine, say camera, jurap, sock. Orange, where is the orange here? Bu orange, that student. Bu taxi chauffeur, the driver, that driver. Here, the different, this driver. Bu, because we used at all of these points, bu. This, this student, this driver, bu öğretmen, this teacher, this doctor, hemşire, that's mean nurse, bu hemşire, this nurse, bu balıkçı, fisherman, bu balıkçı, this fisherman. Maraba, hello. Memnun oldum. Nice to meet you. Sizi tanıştırayım. Let me introduce. Ben de memnun oldum. Nice to meet you too. İyi günler. Good evening. Görüşmek üzere. See you. Nasılsınız? How are you? İyiyim. I'm good. Ben de iyiyim. I'm good too. Teşekkür ederim. Thank you. Tanıştığımıza memnun oldum. Nice to meet you. Now let's go to... Çalışma kitabı. Can say merhaba, merhaba. Ben, benim adım Kemal. Benim adım Yeliz. Memnun oldum, ben de memnun oldum. And all of these solving questions, you can take a look to develop your level. Thank you so much about your watching, your time. See you at the next lecture. Let me stop the recording. Stop recording. Have a good day.